Hey there, what's going on guys? Today I want to share with you five more small Minecraft servers that I think you need to try. I've created a few of these videos in the past and I just love showing off Minecraft servers in general. In the comments, I want you to share with me and everyone else your favorite server. That way your favorite server can get some exposure too. Yeah, and as I said, these are five small Minecraft servers so uh, they aren't like the top servers, but I really hope to help some of these servers grow. Anyways, definitely be sure to subscribe and click the bell if you end up enjoying this video. Yeah, let's get started. To start off, I want to share Heartily Craft. Now, this server was actually commented in a video of mine and sent to me in a tweet. Typically, I will feature servers that I find either by browsing through servers on different websites or I'm introduced to by friends, but I decided to check this server out and uh, just to see what it was all about. It's not a huge player base, it's a rather small community of players. The server is a survival based server on hard mode with a few plugins to help make the experience a bit more, as they call it, rewarding, efficient, and enjoyable. Yeah, I mean it's just a small survival MC MMO server. There isn't really anything that like really stands out about it, but for some reason I really felt the need to share it. I'm not sure if it made me like feel like like a server that I originally started out playing on Minecraft, but I don't know, it, it just really made me feel the need to share it for some reason. Definitely check it out if you're looking for a small community to play Minecraft with or if you're looking for a small survival server, especially one with MCMMO or some other basic plugins like quests, ranks grief prevention, and uh, things like that. I mean, it definitely fits the theme of a small Minecraft server with it having about 10 to 15-ish players on at a time. And the players on here are certainly dedicated, and I think showing more servers like this will definitely help out the Minecraft community in like growing and whatnot. Next up, I want to share the Pixelmon Unlinked server. Now, I've had some people ask me to make a video featuring Pixelmon servers to play on. I'm not sure if I'll end up like making a video just for Pixelmon servers, but I figured I'd add one into one of my small Minecraft servers videos. I'm not entirely sure how the server shapes up in terms of overall player base compared to other Pixelmon servers, but I found that there's like 70 to 150 or so players on typically. It can peak up towards a bit less than 200 players. So in terms of a normal Minecraft server, it's a decent size, but it's not huge. I'm assuming it's a pretty fair sized player base for a Pixelmon server, but I don't really know. I can't tell you that I play a ton on Pixelmon because I don't, so this is what I'll tell you about the server. There are five different types of Pixelmon servers with versions 5.1.2, and 3.5.1 throughout them. Some of the features on the server are mounts, double jump, backpacks, pokey cell, gym challenges, clans, loot crates, mini games, and a starting level of 15. So yeah, just something a bit different than I usually show for you to check out if you are interested. I should also mention that uh, Pixelmon is 1.10.2, and I'll be linking the forge pack down below. You can uh, get onto the server using the forge pack. Just download the forge pack and you can download Pixelmon from there and it will um, directly connect you to Pixelmon Unlinked. The next server I'm sharing with you today is Real Survival. Real Survival, of course, is a survival based server that features some plugins to make your experience a bit more unique. However, like many of the servers I feature, the plugins are very similar to a lot of like other survival servers. There's plugins like jobs, quests, missions, custom enchants, crates, and ranks. It ultimately comes down to the community you like and the way they arrange the plugins to work in game that makes you decide the type of survival server that is best for you. When I looked at the server, I would see it around 
15 to 20 ish players on at a time, but that was nowhere near peak hours. So the stats that I saw from websites show that it can peak up to around 80 ish players. So from what I can see, there is a fairly dedicated player base on the server. I know I feature a lot of survival servers on these videos, but these are the types of servers that sort of like entice me, I guess. Like I said, in the case of survival servers, a lot of them are using the same types of plugins, but they have like a different focus. So it comes down to the type of community on the server or the type of way they set up the plugins and whatnot. Some of them have like different themes and stuff. On here, I found that they were at least very welcoming of new players, so that's a good thing. Minecraft is a creative game in the sense that you can create almost anything in it. You can build, you can fight, you can create complex machines, and you can create servers with custom coded plugins that are based off of other video games. <laughs> We've seen servers create game modes for things like Fortnite or Call of Duty. Well, the developers of this server created an entire server based off of Friday the 13th. I've been fairly entertained by watching people like KYR Speedy and the crew play Friday the 13th and it's, it's a really fun game for a variety of different reasons. Now this server barely has people on it. I had to ask for some help to get recordings for this video because there wasn't anybody on it and that's why I want to introduce it to you guys. Friday the 13th is a fantastic game to play with your friends and this is a great opportunity for you and your friends to jump on and start a game within this server. You only need two people to start a game, but I definitely recommend getting a few friends and trying out the server. It's a cool concept for a server that I think you could end up finding is a lot of fun if you give it a shot. To finish off today, the final server I want to share with you guys today is Guardian Skies. Now Guardian Skies is probably the biggest server in terms of player base across the network that I'll be showing in today's video. The main game type on here is of course Skyblock. The server from what I understand originally started out as a Skyblock server and it seems to still advertise itself as a Skyblock server but it now also has townie, factions, and prison and it seems to have some more coming soon. Given that Skyblock is the most popular game mode on here I want to talk about that and you can explore the rest of the games if you wish. There are multiple types of islands that you can create which include the Adventure Island, the Original Island, the Double Island, and the Hardcore Island. Of course, each of these islands is a different level of difficulty. There are some features that help make the Skyblock server a bit different than like typical Skyblock, like bounties, custom enchants, auctions, MCMMO, some cosmetic plugins, quests, and a lot more that you can explore too. I'm sort of just touching on what you can do in Skyblock so I don't talk too long about the server, but it's definitely an interesting one. I know Skyblock servers have advanced a bit, but it's still cool to see a game mode like Skyblock, which is so simple on its surface, become so much more advanced. So yeah, here's a server that has some variety for you guys to try out with Skyblock, Factions, Prison, and Townie. You don't have to play Skyblock, there are other types of game modes on here, but definitely give it a shot if anything sounds interesting to you. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one guys. I want to mention that if any of the servers aren't working, make sure you're on the correct server version right now. This video was made in 1.12.2, but over time Minecraft does update and servers update with it. So make sure you're on the version that the server is on and you need to buy Minecraft for it to work too. These are not crack servers. I get that question a lot. You need Minecraft, you need to buy it. <laughs> Also, I can't do anything if servers eventually shut down, so there's another thing to mention because that does happen too. Uh, so if the server's not working, it may have shut down too, so can't do anything about that. Unfortunately, that happens. Definitely be sure to check out these servers in this video, and if you really want to, uh, let them know that I sent you. <laughs>
No, but really, uh, check out the servers and give them a try. As I said in the opening of this video, be sure to comment with the name or IP of your favorite server. That way we can all check it out and help it grow. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're new around here, feel free to check out some of my other videos too. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you'll always be notified when I post a new video. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.